Hi, I'm Jack Crooks, currency expert for Weiss Research. Today on Money and Markets TV, I want to discuss the dollar's recent performance, but also look beyond the dollar to other segments of the currency market. The U.S. dollar is the world's reserve currency, and it represents about two-thirds of exchange denomination among global central banks. There's a good reason for that. Countries must hold U.S. dollars in order to facilitate international trade and capital flows. That's because the world's major commodities are traded in dollars. For example, if you don't produce oil domestically, you will need to use dollars to buy oil on the world market. It's estimated that about $4 trillion a day change hands in the currency or Forex market. That's far more than the stock and bond markets combined. And the dollar is involved in about 80% of those trades. The primary benchmark for measuring the dollar is the U.S. dollar index. It combines the greenback's performance against six other currencies, the euro, Japanese yen, British pound, Canadian dollar, Swedish krona, and Swiss franc. And you can see that since making a low back in early May, it's gone sideways, trading in a 5.5% range. So trading in the major dollar pairs can be a frustrating game. That's why I recommend looking beyond the dollar to the cross-rate pairs. That means trading one currency against another, neither of which is the dollar. There can be a lot more action in these trades than in the major dollar pairs, and in fact, that's been the case in my two favorite cross-rate trading ideas. The first idea is the Canadian dollar against the British pound. I believe Canada's currency will move much higher against the pound uh, in the long run. That's because there's a major disparity in the economic fundamentals of the two countries. The UK is liable to tip into recession really at any time, and its main trading partners in the Eurozone are heading straight for recession right now. Conversely, Canada's biggest trading partner is the United States, which we know obviously isn't setting any records, but is really in much better shape than the Eurozone right now. In addition, Canada has the bonus demand kicker from China for all those commodities, which the UK is lacking. Canada also has a yield advantage over the UK, because its short-term interest rates are higher. And I believe the Bank of England will initiate another round of quantitative easing, which will increase the yield advantage on the Canadian dollar deposits even more. In this chart, you can see that the pound recently tested its high against the Canadian dollar, and it failed. And now it's about to cross below the 22-day moving average, which, is, which in the past really has provided great support and resistance level. Another cross-rate trade I like is the Australian dollar against the Japanese yen. However, this is a much shorter-term trade setup and will only pay off under certain market conditions. Specifically, if we see a rally in risk assets, stocks, and commodities, then the Australian dollar is likely to shoot up against the yen. And that trade could be an even bigger winner if the Bank of Japan intervenes again in the currency markets. You can see in this chart what happened the last time Japan stepped into the market to try and weaken its own currency back in March. Now, this pair is about to test some strong resistance, so it's important to keep an eye on it. Of course, if the Bank of Japan doesn't intervene and stocks don't bounce, this trade won't work. But trading is about knowing your reasons and controlling your risk. I believe the reasons I've laid out trading this pair make sense, and the risk-reward profile really is excellent. Overall, the number of potential cross-rate trade opportunities in the currency market is huge. The idea that ideas are only limited by your imagination. In the coming weeks, I'll show you how to apply these same principles, even if you use currency ETFs or currency options as your means of accessing the powerful Forex market. I'm Jack Crooks for Money and Market TV. Thanks for watching.